We are asked to determine the domain, range, and equation of the vertical asymptote. We are given g of x equals the opposite of log base 3 of x plus 4. Let's begin by reviewing the definition of a log function, as well as the properties of a log function. Where y equals log base b of x is a log function, where both x and b are greater than zero, and b can't be one. The equivalent exponential equation for y equals log base b of x is b raised to the power of y equals x. The domain is the open interval from zero to infinity because x must be greater than zero. Notice how x is the input into the log function. The range is all real numbers or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. The vertical asymptote is x equals zero and the horizontal intercept is the point one comma zero. So for example, if we look at the graph of the basic log function y equals log base three of x, notice how this function does have all of these properties. Now looking at g of x, we have g of x equals negative log base three of x plus three. So because we have log base three of x here, the domain or set of all possible x values is the same as a basic log function, which is x greater than zero, or using interval notation, the open interval from zero to infinity. And the vertical asymptote is also x equals zero. And then the range for the basic log function is all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. So looking at g of x, if we change the sign of the function value and then add four, this won't change the range. The range is still all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now let's verify these results graphically. One way to graph g of x is to recognize that g of x is a transformation of the basic log function y equals log base three of x. Where if we let f of x equal the basic log function with base three, we could write g of x in terms of f of x as saying g of x is equal to the opposite of f of x and then plus four. Where this negative sign here would reflect, where this negative sign here would reflect the graph of f of x across the x-axis, or horizontal axis, and then the plus four would shift the graph up four units. Let's verify this with an animation. In red we have the graph of y equals log base three of x, and now we will graph y equals a times log base three of x plus d. We'll notice when a is one and d is zero, we have the graph of the same log function, which is now graphed in blue. And now if we change a to negative one, this will give us the graph of y equals the opposite of log base three of x, which is a reflection of y equals log base three of x across the x-axis, which we see here. And now if we change d to positive four, we will have the graph of g of x. And notice how this will shift the graph up four units. So this blue graph is the graph of the given function, g of x. So going back to our work, I already have the graph here on the right. You'll notice how there is a vertical asymptote at x equals zero, which is the y-axis. Notice as x approaches zero from the right, the function values approach infinity, verifying the vertical asymptote. We can also see the domain is when x is greater than zero, or the open interval from zero to infinity. And then for the range, notice how the graph goes up as well as down indefinitely, and therefore this does verify the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. It may appear as if there's a horizontal asymptote here at y equals two, but there's not. This graph does go down forever, even though it goes down very slowly. I hope you found this helpful.